We did have a rough week and, um, you know, it, it's frustrating and it's hard when you're not getting the wins. Um, but, you know, we kind of look at it a little more specifically and, and the things we did well in each match and then what we have to work on. And it's been interesting because some of the things we did really well at the beginning of the season right now we're struggling with and vice versa. We've really improved a lot on our blocking. We've improved on our, with our, our passing, our service receive passing. Um, and all of a sudden our offense, um, you know, we're having some difficulties with. So we'll get back at it uh, this week and, um, you know, work on our offense and hopefully we can be clicking on all cylinders for the weekend. We open up with Samford at 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. On, on Saturday night and our first SOCON match against the, the team that's won our division the last two years and they're picked to win the division again um, um, this season so we're gonna have our hands full but I think it's a good time to get them both teams are you know trying to get that first win we're at home um, we're in a you know Jordan gym one of our last couple matches in Jordan gym which is a little different than maybe what they're used to and um, so I think it's a good time to to, to play against them and then um, Chattanooga at 2 p.m. On, on Sunday they're always a tough team they always battle I think they have one of the most underrated uh, middle blockers in Courtney Barnes. She's a senior that consistently puts up great offensive numbers. Um, and so we have our hands full this weekend, but I think we're going to be ready for the challenge. And um, we're just excited to start, you know, Southern Conference schedule and um, do well in the, in the SOCON. I think we have high expectations and I think our, our players will definitely be ready.